Hey, everybody. You are about to hear a brief retelling of the movie Animal Kingdom Let's Go Ape. Enjoy the movie. The simian apes assemble in their ancestral tree to celebrate the birth of the king of apes' two sons. Simeon lords over hundreds of apes in an ancient tree somewhere in the savannah desert. Vladimir, the king's trusty counsel, informs him that there is a problem. Apparently, the queen gave birth to two boys rather than one. The first monkey prince seems little and frail, but the second monkey appears powerful and healthy. Because the small monkey appeared first, he is the direct successor to the kingdom. The monkey which appears and tells the king to remove the small price because he is a terrible omen. She claims he is a mistake by nature, and the apes would never accept him as their prince. The monarch relents and sends the infant to Vladimir, who dispatches the monkey as the queen sleeps. When the queen awakens, she searches for her infants and convinces the king that he would look after them. She dies shortly after King Simeon unveils the crown prince. Vanya, a robust and healthy monkey among the apes of the kingdom Vladimir, takes the frail monkey to a precipice and throws it into the wolf's maw. Vladimir has a brief change of heart as the infant clings to his hands. However, Vladimir's allegiance rests with the king, and he tosses the monkey and walks away. Meanwhile, the feeble monkey hung on a vine rather than falling directly into the wolf's teeth. The wolf ultimately pulls the infant from the vine and nibbles one of its hands. Before the wolf can kill the infant, a proboscis monkey protects it. The infant is unable to walk like an ape since the wolf's bite has destroyed its right arm, but its savior, Ian, permits him to ride on his back. The frail monkey has grown into an adult ape named Edward. He still rides on Ian's back because one of his arms no longer functions, and the arm remains in his loincloth throughout the movie. They are excellent friends who get along, quarrel, and watch out for one another. They flee far from the other apes. Ian has a speech impairment, thus he can't communicate well. In their small shed, Edward is seeking some figs that he has stored in a hole covered in leaves. He asks Ian for it, but the ape denies ignorance, and an argument ensues. Edward spots a mouse and understands that the mouse ate his breakfast. He starts chasing it around, but cannot catch it with one arm. He finds the tree sap and intends to use it as a trap for the mouse, but horn noises distract him. The horn marks the commencement of Coco Ball, a sport that Ian and Edward enjoy. Ian is reluctant to go because they are frequently discriminated against by the other apes. Edward persuades him to go, and they settle onto a branch to watch the game. The apes dangling from vines toss the ball about, hoping for a gold shot into the mouth of a skull. The ball represents a coconut fruit. Vanya is the first to score, and the audience applauds. Another round begins, but is cut short as Ian tries to catch the ball and falls headfirst, knocking the plates from their vines. The ball bounces off and lands in a hole. The pirates get enraged and surround Ian to beat him up, but Edward thinks of something quickly. He uses tree sap to get the ball out. The astonished primates cluster around. Edward questions how he performed the magic, but Vanya appears and snatches the ball away. Edward Vanya tries to toss the ball, but his hand is trapped on it by the tree sap. The other primates try to help him off, but they too get trapped. The mayhem stops when the ball flies out of their hands and rests on King Simeon's head. Vladimir attempts to remove it, but rips a tuft of hair in the process. The monarch wants to find out who is to blame, but Vladimir and his cousin Sergei throw him off track. The witch sees Edward and asks Vladimir if he disposed of the child as requested. Vladimir answers that he did throw the infant away. She threatens him before sending him off to find a solution. However, Vanya overheard their conversation and confronts his father about the idea of another ape assuming the kingdom from him. King Simeon swears to do something about it. Edward and Ian are bickering in their nest over the snowy mountains Ian has always dreamed about. Sergei and Marcel arrive for the king's commands. They inform Edward that he has been called by the king. In the king's presence, Edward is accused of performing magic. Edward explains once more that it is not magic, but rather a few tricks he discovered, and then continues to demonstrate some of these feats to the king. He creates a crown from leaves and a mirror by pouring water into a leaf. The monarch sees his mirror for the first time and is impressed by his facial characteristics. Edward swings for the king and continues to chat to him. They are immediately besieged by a swarm of insects brought by the witch. King Simeon is flung from the swing, and Edward is accused of attempted murder by the witch. Vanya orders that he be thrown from the cliff, and Ian can only watch King. Simeon climbs up and wants to know who threw Edward off the cliff. Vanya claims he attempted to assassinate him, but King Simeon accuses him of killing another Simeon. Edward wakes up to find he has been tossed from the tree. Ian is dangling on a vine, but it is too high for Edward to reach. He leaves Ian and travels into the desert. He sees two massive ostriches and attempts to catch a bunch of grapes dangling from one of their mouths, learning to stand on two feet like them. A group of wolves appears, forcing the three to flee. Edward initially rushes backwards, then sees how the ostriches run. He begins to rush forward, pleased with his newfound ability to move quickly. His one arm will no longer be a hindrance for him. The other monkeys notice him jogging and cheer him on. 
The three runs into a field full of rhinoceros and pass them until the rhinos spot the wolves approaching and flee. Now Edward is fleeing the rhinos and wolves. Edward approaches the end of the road and the rhinos begin to roll like armadillos. When King Simeon realizes Edward is going to be crushed by those rhinoceros, he rushes in to save him. He fights off some of them but leaps in front of Edward when he realizes he is going to be crushed. The ruckus calms down and King Simeon is gravely hurt from the struggle. Vanya approaches them with a vine to aid Simeon back up. King Simeon informs Edward that he is his father before his death. Vanya takes Simeon's body away and instructs Edward not to consider themselves brothers. Vanya is anointed king and dismissed. Vladimir for failing to get rid of Edward. Sergei takes over Vladimir's business and it is time for Vanya to find a spouse. Instead of marrying a bride, Vanya declares that all the apes are at his disposal and he has complete control over them. A storm begins and Vladimir is shunned by all of the apes. The storm turns intense and a tornado appears. Edward encounters Lucy during the tornado and falls in love with her. He pursues her and they eventually become buddies. Edward instructs her to stand on two feet and they discover flames coming from a volcano. Excited. Edward returns a bit of the fire to the apes and talks about it. They do not greet him and stone him on Vanya's orders. Upset, Edward leaves with Lucy. He uses the fire to scare a wolf away from its hiding place before settling inside the cave with Lucy. The other apes observe Lucy and Edward learning to collect fruit, kill bunnies, and other small creatures. Edward has also learned how to control the wolf. The apes depart Vanya and the ancestral tree when they can't take the hunger. The witch calls the tree ghost to terrify the apes, but Diego, a little ape, follows the sound and discovers that the tree spirit does not exist. It's all been the witch. She attempts to eliminate him, but he is saved and tells the truth. The apes exit the tree and proceed towards Edward and Lucy's cave. Gazella, a female monkey who has always adored Vanya, chooses to remain back. Lucy does not welcome the apes after what they have done to her and Edward. The apes approach Edward and persuade him to advocate on their behalf. They pledge to only eat and leave if Lucy allows them in. They eat and don't leave. They enjoy a party in the cave that night, which Vanya and Gazella observe with sadness. They continue to observe for months while the apes build themselves a new settlement. Lucy and Edward are married and expect a son. They choose to name the kid after Edward's friend, Ian. Meanwhile, the witch plots retribution on the apes for leaving the ancestral tree. Lucy recovers at home while Edward assists the rest of the community with building work. All of the apes now walk on two legs, much like Edward. They can now hunt for their own food, and Diego can create realistic drawings. Sergei had an argument with new monkeys searching for refuge. Sergei tells them there is no shelter and exiles them. Edward tries to calm them down, but while he is doing so, a locust invades the village and destroys everything they've been working on. Sergei and the apes believe the witch is to blame for the mess, so they go after her. Lucy tells Edward to save Vanya before the mob reaches the tree. Edward calls for Vanya, but he does not answer. The mob arrives at the tree, and Vanya emerges from concealment. The apes agree to let him go if he gives them the tree, but he pledges to let them go alive if they leave on their own. Gazella attempts to defend the monarch, but Sergei orders the apes to beat Vanya. Vanya fights back, but he is overcome. Edward is likewise prohibited from interfering. Sergei instructs the apes to chop up the tree and set it on fire, and Edward saves Gazella before it explodes. However, he gets stuck behind a blazing limb. He screams out to Vanya, who responds and assists Edward. The two flee before the trees blow up, but the witch remains in the tree and dies with it. When they come around, the entire area is filled with smoke. The tree is completely burned, leaving nothing for the apes. Vanya and Edward settle their disputes and expose their bond to the apes. Sergei attempts to incite panic among the apes, but Edward, with Vanya's assistance, brings them to order. He assures them that there is hope for them and discusses the world beyond the White Mountains. The apes follow the birds to the White Mountains, where they find a world full of green plants, water, and massive mountains. The apes are happy, and Edward meets Ian again. Lucy grins while watching the two buddies dance.